So it's been a while since I've done a video on this channel and that's because I've been busy with my life in China. I have had quite a few sneaker pickups, but I mean, nothing too crazy. But this pair, this pair I really wanted to share. This pair did not release in China and that's why I had to uh, get it shipped to me here in China from StockX. And I mean, at first I thought it was a great pair. My friends were like, hey, we'll send it over. But uh, I ended up getting hit with duties. That's one thing I forgot. When you bring in shoes into the country, even though I'm pretty sure this pair is made in China, I still got hit with duties, which was like 100 RMB plus like, I don't know. I think I ended up paying like 350 RMB, maybe 400 RMB for the duties. So close to 80 Canadian dollars, probably like 65, 70 USD on top of what it is. So a little over retail, but anyways, I'm rambling on a bit too much. Let's get into this pair. I'm really excited because, uh, I don't know, it's, I feel like everyone from where I'm from that's into sneakers, especially Air Max like I am, you had to get this pair. So first thing, we pop open this box. It's got that green bubble wrap on top. Don't need that. And then out comes, oh, the box popped open already. I don't want to look at it yet because I haven't seen these in hand. I've only seen them online. Everyone I know back home got them. They went to the store and got it. Uh, but these are Nike Air Max 95s, the Toronto City Edition, which I'm so stoked. I mean, they couldn't have done a better model. They already did the ones back in the day, and I did not get them. I, I like them, but I'm not huge into them. If it was an Air Max 90, I would have been blown away all over that. But my favorite Air Max models go 90. Probably TN in their Air Max 95. So this is top three Air Max model for me. But anyways, let's have a quicker look at the box. At the outside. It's really nice. I mean, does it really portray everyone in Toronto? You kind of get the idea. I mean, it's just cartoon graphics. It's good. You know, the bodegas, the small mom and pop shops, the small company owned shops back home. They did a great job collaborating with this. I do like this logo here though. This logo I think is pretty cool. And on the back, you got all that regular Nike branding, you know, all the trademark stuff. Now let's see. Does it say anywhere where it was produced on the back here? Box made in China, uh, fabricated in China. So, kind of sucks that I had to pay uh, duties on something that's actually made in this country. It was produced here, sent out to shops in Canada. I don't know if it even had a US release. And then you buy it, send it back, you're still paying duties on their own country's products. But what it is, it is what it is. I just know for the future, I won't be looking at StockX that much. I just gotta get stuff here on the sneakers app, which the Air Max 90 drops tomorrow actually. By the time this video is out, hopefully I got it, we'll see. Anyways, one last look at the front. The, where's the sizing on this? Oh, right there. So the sizing is really small at the bottom. It zooms in. Uh, ten and a half. I think if they put woman's 12 here. All the details. Little hard to see because the lighting blocks it off. It's under there. But Air Max 95 Premium. Colorway white, university, red, blue, J. Pretty cool. Oh, and it does say it has the RFID chip inside to stop from fraud or fake. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, pop open the box. Have a look right there. Bring it closer. Inside is pretty nice. The paper, plain and simple. They didn't do anything special for the paper. I think, you know, with the paper, it's kind of taboo, but they could have done the whole Toronto City skyline printed on the paper, maybe. I mean, that's just what I think. But, anyways, here's the card. Say, rep with every step. Kind of funny people say rep because rep could also mean replica sneaker, but no, they mean represent the city. There you go. Shoe of the city. City of the shoe. Of the world. Sorry. Oh. You see, inspired by the diverse community. I love the colors on it. It's all in all, very nice shoe. So let's dive into the shoe itself. So right out of the box. I got that tag. Uh, got to cut that off ASAP. But anyway, it's verified. It did come from Toronto, the pairs. Like that air bubble. The air bubble is kind of like a red air bubble. Was it purple? No, that's red. So we got the rare red air unit. Close. A nice swoosh on the back there. The materials are like cheap suede, but it just means I gotta not wear it when it's really rainy out. That toe box there. Utility like really nice and big. 
I really like the color. It really, to me, this is a Toronto shoe. It definitely looks like a Toronto shoe, Toronto colorway. Good for all Toronto team sports. Going to a Blue Jays game. You can wear it to a Raptors game, I guess. Um, a Leafs game. I don't, it's a Toronto shoe. Now, the back. Hmm. Now, the back in person looks a lot different. I guess it's when you take a picture with the flash, the color changes. But without the flash, it's white. I thought it was like a black. But I guess everyone's using the flash to show the reflective because I don't know if you can see if you put really close. There is the CN Tower design there. It's kind of like in a reflective 3M ink. I'm sure you can see the line in the middle right there, right? But without doing the flash, it's kind of hard. Let's see if I shine a light on it, if you can pick it up. Got the phone going. Yeah, no, it's not going to do it in this lighting. But anyways, got a hit of Nike Air on the back. But the nicest subtle hit is on, there it says, Air Max. And then, rip this one off. This says West End. I'm sure many of you have seen this shoe by now. The tongue is really nice. You got that piece of material running up the top. Inside looks like that. Simple Air Max 95. I mean, not too crazy. And then if you're looking really close, let's see if we can get the lighting in there. There we go. Oh, a little bit of lighting. That token in there, that is a token that looks like what you see on the Toronto TDC, the, the subway station, the metros, whatever you want to call it. I'm in China, so we call it the metro right now, but back when we always call it the Toronto subway. So it's a token that represents the TTC. Uh, it says valid for Toronto. It's just all in all of the show. Oh, let me take a look at the bottom. I mean, no, you're going to walk on the bottom, so it doesn't really matter, but it's a nice color on the bottom. Okay, so let's get a quick side by side. There you go. My wife's looking at these things like, damn, they're ugly. But I like them. Are they my favorite Air Max? No, but I just feel like I had to have them. Being Canadian, being from Mississauga, the suburbs of Toronto. Let's get the booty shot. Okay, and last but not least, let's check out what else is in the box. It's just one more pair of laces. The black laces. I don't know. Should I put the black laces in these and lace them up? Maybe that's the way to go. We'll see. I'm going to put them on, see if the sizing is right, and then we'll go back with the conclusion. So let's check the on foot. All right, so I went true to size, and uh, I say that is okay. The left foot is perfect. The only thing I have a little bit is everyone says, you know, the pinky toe touches a bit here, but the length is fine. If I went a little higher to an 11, I don't think it would make that much of a difference on the width of the shoe. Um, I just need to kind of break it in a bit, you know? So, yeah, I do say stay true to size, but that's also because I go true to size in the TNs, like uh, these bad boys here, perfect, 10 and a half. A lot of people will say half size up for those also, but it's really personal fit. I say, you know, you really like a certain pair of shoe and you think it's going to retro again, what you got to do is you got to go out, find any model way of it, any color, try it on and just, you know, make a note of what size you wear in that model. There's very few shoes that actually need to go up to a size 11, and that's just like a Jordan 11 or a Jordan 9. I'll go up to an 11. Almost every other shoe, I'm really comfortable with 10 and a 10 and a half. So, oh, so no bounce test. Yeah, they're they're fine. They're comfortable. I like them. Hopefully, they hold up a long time. Definitely a nice shoe. They have. I might even wear them out today when I go back to work. That's the on foot. What do you guys think? Okay, so that was the on look, foot, on foot look, I should say, for these bad boys. Um, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to wear them when I go back to work. I'm at lunch right now. Uh, really nice. Um, retail, I actually, I'm not too sure. They were a gift, right? So, uh, does it say on the box anywhere? No. I think in Toronto, after taxes and everything, um, it was like 270 Canadian. I mean, a lot of sneakers are getting more expensive. It's not like when I worked at Foot Locker back in the day. Your most expensive sneaker was going to be like a foam posit or like 
a, a weird pause that they came out would be like 2 220 back then when your Jordans were regularly like 140 to 160 and over the years they went up now there's a lot of sneakers that retail is 1,500 RMB or close to 300 Canadian or 260 USD like inflation right things have got expensive so uh, final recommendations if you're gonna get these um, I don't think they're coming out anywhere else other than Toronto. I mean, there might be, I think there was a drop on sneakers already for the US, but I think it was limited. So uh, go to the aftermarket. The price on the aftermarket is actually not that bad. It is sitting around retail at StockX right now, at least last time I checked. But anyways, guys, that does it for me for this one. Hopefully I can get a bunch of other reviews, Under Armour reviews possibly on the way. That's what I do a lot of most of. But with the Nikes app here and just being able to access the Nike app, nice and simple, unlike back in Canada, it's just, I don't know, it's so addictive to just try, enter, enter, enter draws, enter wraps, and see if you hit the things you like. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Till next time, guys. Take it easy.